Hey everybody, Shifunk here with another Rockers update. The Rockers just finished another series against the West Virginia, the West Virginia Power, and uh, end up winning this one. This was actually a series where it will show which of the teams will actually be holding uh, first place overall in the series. Um, at the time before uh, they started playing, uh, both the Rockers and West Virginia were currently tied. Uh, for first place, so this actually was a true tiebreaker, uh, where this has technically been two tiebreakers so far, uh, this second half, where at first we were tied with um, Gastonia, and now we were tied with West Virginia. Anyway, uh, let's go over what happened over the weekend. So on Friday, game number one, um, Rockers won this 6-7. And uh, it was actually a pretty good game. In uh, top of the fourth, Johan Gonzalez uh, reaches a fielder's choice with um, Jimmy Paredes uh, scoring. Uh, in bottom of the fourth, Giovanni uh, makes a single with uh, Stephen Cardillo scoring. Stuart Levy makes a single with Quincy Lattimore scoring. Uh, Johnny Fields uh, singles a ground ball with Giovanni scoring. And then Mike Russell doubles with uh, Stuart Levy uh, scoring, making the score 1-4 to four at the bottom of the fourth. Then bottom of the fifth, Star Cardillo makes a home run. And then Jeremy Mitchell makes a single with Giovanni scoring, making the score 1-6. to six. Top of the six, Miles... Williams makes a home run with Olmo uh, Rosero on the uh, on the bases for a two-run homer, and then Connor Kapak uh, makes a home run with Jovan Gonzalez on the base. So they end up getting four in that one, making the score five to six. Top of the ninth, Jimmy um, Paredes makes a home run, tying the game. Where we actually go into the tenth inning, and um, Johnny Fields makes a fielder's choice, and uh, Giovanni scores. So <laughs> it was another win for uh, the Rockers, where Johnny Fields actually helped make the winning score, and uh, he's <laughs> it's a big deal when he's done this at least four times so far this season. Uh, game number two, which was on September eleventh. Um, the Rockers win this one, um, two to three. In top of the first, Edwin Espinal singles a ground ball with uh, Alberto Cospero scoring. Then Almo Rosario uh, has a sacrifice fly with uh, Jimmy Perez uh, scoring, breaking the score two zero on the top of the first. Bottom of the second, Jared Mitchell uh, walks with Quincy Lattimore scoring. Bottom of the third, Jerry Downs triples with uh, Michael Russell scoring, making the score 2-2. Two and two. Uh, Bottom of the ninth, Johnny Fields makes a home run and making the final score 2-3. Um, to three. So, like I said, Johnny Fields is on a roll with this. <laughs> But then we have uh, Sunday, where the Rockers lost this one, and they lost this one two to six. I'm, I'm sorry, six to two. So, in top of the fourth, Edwin Espinal uh, makes a uh, double with um, Alberto Cosporo scoring. Bottom of the fourth, Michael Martinez makes a single with Michael Russell scoring, uh, making the game tied one to one. Bottom to fifth, Mike Russell singles with uh, Johnny Fields scoring. Then top of the sixth, Alberto Cospro makes a um, home run, making the score tied again, two to two. Then in top of the ninth, Jimmy Parderes makes a double with um, Olmo, Olmo Rosio scoring. Then Francisco Arcia uh, makes a single with Jimmy Paredes scoring. Nate easily grounds a force out with um, Edwin Espinal scoring. And then Diadro Martinez makes a single with Francisco Ar Arcia scoring. 
So they able to get four in the ninth inning, which was terrible to see um, that game. But it's okay. We still won the series, and we are still number one in the league right now. Uh, the Rockers are heading to um, West Virginia this week for uh, four games instead of three. They have a makeup game on Tuesday, so they have two games. Uh, starting at, I think, 5 o'clock. And then um, they're off at Gastonia for the weekend. And then um, all next week, uh, for the next two weeks, will be the last two weeks of the season at home, where we'll be playing uh, Lancaster on the 21st to the 23rd. Then West Virginia comes back for the weekend of the 24th. Uh, then we're playing York on the 28th through the end of the month. And then on the 1st through the 3rd, we're playing Southern Maryland, and that's it for the season at home. Uh, the last two teams we're playing of the season will be Southern Maryland at home, at their home um, on October 5th through the 7th, and then playing Lancaster um, the weekend of the 8th of October. Playoffs are on the 12th, so we are definitely going to be in the playoffs if we keep up with this. So until that comes up, I'll let y'all know how the playoffs stands. Again, the playoffs are on the 12th, and they go on through the 16th. So um, we'll know, you know, I, I don't know officially how that works uh, when it comes to Atlantic League. Uh, we did make the playoffs in 2019. It's just that we didn't really fully uh, go through the whole process of, like, you know, going from, like, you know, the beginning to, like, the finals and jump. So I don't know how that works. Anyway, I'll, I'll be sure to, to keep you all up to date on that. So anyway, that's it for these updates, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Sheepunk signing off, and rock on, rockers.